Greetings Commanders, I'm Commander Avasa, and welcome to the AXI Debrief, where you can get the current news and information within the AXI. This week we have information on Odyssey, fleet carriers made their debut after an extensive downtime, and the founder of AXI has joined the retiree ranks. If you enjoy any of this content, please consider hitting the thumbs up button, and if you wish to be notified of any future debriefs, consider hitting the subscribe button along with that bell icon. The founder of the Anti-Xeno Initiative, Commander Gluttony Fang, has made the announcement on Saturday that he is retiring from official staff duty and to remain on the sidelines after three years from founding the AXI. Commander Gluttony Fang has inspired thousands of commanders to band together under one flag to fight the Thargoid threat and has brought together the greatest minds and combat pilots the galaxy has to offer to fight the Xeno threat. He was my inspiration to join the AXI as he was for countless others with his combat prowess and skills and he also paved the way for others to follow him. Now even though he is stepping down from the official position, he will always be known as the founder of the AXI and a great combat pilot. And I want to personally say thank you for everything Commander Glendy Fang and good luck in your endeavors and Godspeed. Canon Research has announced that their mega ship, the Gnosis, is being retired. Now the Gnosis gained a lot of popularity when Canon attempted to have it jump to the cone sector, bypassing a lot of permit lock systems that prevented regular ships to do so. Many of us remember the confusion that ensued with an ill-timed Galnet article releasing how the Thargoids had predicted the Gnosis and began an assault around the ship. Now I'm not going to open old wounds, so I'll provide a link that covers the whole debacle down below. So FDev originally wanted to pull the Gnosis from the game or simply park it, much like how the Indra is in HR-11E5. But Canon Research found a better purpose for its retirement, and the Gnosis will now serve as a ferry to locations such as Canon's home system, the crashed Thargoid ship, a barnacle field, and the closest Guardian beacon. Even in retirement, the Gnosis will still continue to serve the community, and I'd like to thank the crew on board the Gnosis for their contributions and service to the science community, and may your journey continue to inspire new commanders to take the helm of science and discovery. Commander Mgram has announced that after three years of existence, the AXI now has an official website. The new site is now the center of hundreds, if not thousands of hours of research, experience, and tactics from commander contributions throughout the community. The site is sleek, sexy, and well thought out with areas covering ship builds, tactics, and information encompassing anything anti-Xeno. I provided a link down below to the site and would highly recommend any commander out there that has taken the dive into AX combat to see all the information we have and also for new commanders to use as their source of anything and everything they could use to become effective and deadly anti-Xeno pilots. Please thank Commander Mgram for the hard work and dedication to complete this massive project as the service of the AXI to improve our understanding and skills has been insurmountable. FDev has confirmed a few things with the Odyssey expansion, and to the disdain of many commanders, VR support will not be coming to Odyssey at this time. For something as large as what Odyssey seems like it's going to be, I can understand why they will not be supporting VR initially. They have stated they were looking if VR could be implemented without compromise, and that statement can cover a range of things from stability to ensuring that gameplay is actually fun in VR. I understand that there are many commanders upset with this announcement, and after having many discussions with commanders that play strictly in VR, I can get that without its implementation, it really downgrades the experience these commanders have. Now this is a very delicate minefield that FDev is navigating through right now, because if the content they deliver isn't up to par, or shows why VR would not be difficult to implement in the first place, then it would put the VR community into an uproar questioning why they weren't able to put VR in with little content released. If the content they deliver with Odyssey is loaded with new features and mechanics, then it can show why it was difficult to implement VR at launch, but then many commanders will be asking when VR will begin implementation, and if VR support doesn't make a timely appearance, then the fire will only be growing from the VR community. We'll have to wait and see for future information on what they plan on implementing for Odyssey to get a better understanding of its development. They also confirmed that Odyssey will not incorporate base building at this time. They will be focusing instead on the content around on-foot exploration, social hubs, which has piqued my interest, and the new planetary generation tech in combat. Nonetheless, the ability to walk will still be interesting, and I look forward to seeing what their idea of social hubs will be. I'm also curious if they built up the internals of ships, and will allow us to walk around the interiors. We'll have to wait and see what comes with the following months. Somewhat of a speculation on my end is that if they are implementing social hubs, and also improving procedural generation tech, might we see an improvement of the netcode? Now that's something to look forward to. Fleet carriers all around the bubble began charging their frameshift drives as they began their service to all commanders out there that shelled out the cash for them. The Deep Space Support Array has now begun its role in becoming rest points all throughout the galaxy for weary commanders out in the black to relax and recharge to continue their daunting task of mapping out the galaxy. 
The AXI also begun the maiden voyage of its fleet carrier, which will begin its task of providing a staging and resupply point for our combat pods when conflict zones return. While we're on the topic of fleet carriers, I'd like to point out that on the AXI website we have a carrier command section. This section is for commanders that have attained the rank Apollo's Wrath and would like to register their fleet carrier into our carrier command program. The program is to allow us to identify and assign fleet carriers registered to run operations and tasks representing the AXI. The orders will be provided by the AXI leadership to assist and support our frontline troops when the need arises. If there are any commanders out there interested in enrolling in the carrier command, you can do so by registering on our website. Now the commander opening up the commander achievements this week is Commander Spirit. He brought his challenger out to take on two Cyclopses. Now for those that have never gotten involved in multi-interceptor fights, they are really fun and Commander Spirit really shows us what it's all about. Commander Blue Skies performed a 100% club kill in his crate Phantom, and it's nice to see the Phantom make it to the list as it's a very capable ship, and Commander Blue Skies shows that off with this kill. Commander Cowboy Trucker performed a Cyclops kill in his hauler. It's always nice to see new commanders take on this challenge as it requires a different tactic compared to the meta ship builds, so congratulations Commander Cowboy Trucker for taking on this extreme challenge. And Commander Attempts at Flight killed his first Hydra and joins the elite ranks of the anti-Xeno commanders in performing this kill. Hydras are designed to be taking on in a wing, and for any commanders to perform this kill solo is impressive. The kill of the week this week also belongs to Commander Attempts at Flight. For this week he performed a Soaring Slepnir kill, which is to take on a Medusa without your HUD. As you can see while performing this, he takes the heart down while he uses a fixed beam laser to assist him in aiming his Gauss Cannons. And he'd also perform this kill without any macros. So congratulations to Commander Attempts at Flight at performing this kill deemed very difficult to pull off. Now we had a busy week in fleet carrier announcements and also a clarification on the Odyssey expansion. And a lot of us have been busy last minute to get our fleet carriers prepped for deployment. So thank you to all the commanders out there that have enrolled in the carrier program within the AXI. And congratulations to all the commanders out there donating your fleet carrier to also the DSSA. I mean, that's a massive undertaking and also a pretty big sacrifice. So thank you to those commanders there. Of course, also congratulate the commanders you see on screen for taking their first steps into anti-Xeno combat and those commanders that continue our BGS war. With this debrief concluded, I want to thank all of you for joining me this week, and I look forward to future information drops on Odyssey, and look forward to see what commanders do with their fleet carriers. As always, aim for the heart commanders, carry on.